Good afternoon and welcome to my channel. My name is Mike Kelly and on this channel I cover topics on personal finance and personal development. Now for those of you who are new here, a little bit about me, I am a financial analyst by trade and I also trade a lot of stock, ETFs and mutual funds on the stock market. I've been, been doing that for about the past seven years. In today's video, I'm going to tell you, the investor, why Tesla stock is pretty much my most favorite investment at this point in time. I'm gonna tell you why right now. Before I get into the investment part of this video, I wanna make a few comparisons here. How many of you remember this, the flip phone? Or what about this, the Blackberry? You remember that time period where you might have had a flip phone and your friend had a Blackberry and you're a little bit envious because they had the full keyboard and they could type really fast, send text messages, they could get on the internet, kind of, sort of, but the thing was really cool at the time. Blackberries were amazing and it was something that we really did not have before that period. So it was really unique, interesting, and anyone who had it was kind of cool. Now fast forward a few years and we had the Blackberry, but then we moved into the iPhone. When the iPhone released, it absolutely blew people's minds. It was a touch screen, you know, a touch screen the size of this, right? Amazing because prior to that, there was the big keyboard and we suddenly realized, wait, we don't actually need that giant keyboard in order to type. We can have something and actually tap on the screen. Amazing, right? And not only that, we can hold all of our music on this device. We can surf the internet on this device. We can check our emails and we can do all of the social media stuff right from this device. It blew everyone's mind and Apple stock price skyrocketed from a mere $18 to where it is today. Let's look at the charts really quick to just kind of conceptualize that. The first iPhone was released June 29th, 2007. If we go to the charts and we look at what Apple's stock price was June 29th, 2007, it was right around $18 per share. If we compare that to today's stock price for Apple, which is right around $360, that is a 20x gain. What does that mean? That means if you invested $1,000 on the day that the first iPhone was released and sold it today, you would have $20,000 in cash. Now let's talk about another company that really made a big splash in the world of investing from its inception to today. We're still talking about it. That company is Netflix. Now Netflix, remember kind of like when you were a kid and you used to go to like Blockbuster or like the local movie rental place and you would go and get a DVD with your family and rent it, bring it home, so on and so forth. You forget to bring it back, you get the late fee, all of that crap. Well, Netflix basically said, yeah, we don't like any of that and we're just gonna get rid of it and we're just going to open up this streaming service that people can just watch movies and videos on their own time and they just pay a subscription fee. Now, this absolutely changed everything. It changed the world as we know it. And Netflix is now kind of a household name. We talk about it all the time. Why is this important though? Now, if we go back and we look at where Netflix was when it announced that it was going to start doing streaming video versus where it is today in the stock price, we will see an absolutely incredible run up. January 15th, 2007, Netflix announced that it would launch its streaming video service. Now, if we go to the charts and we look at the stock chart, what Netflix was trading at on the 16th of January, 2007, it was trading right around 3.25. So that's $3.25. Is trading today at $459.85 per share. That is about 141x. What does that mean? That means if you purchased $1,000 worth of Netflix stock on January 16th, 2007 and sold it today, you would have roughly $140,000 in profit. Now, why am I talking about Apple and Netflix in a video that is clearly about investing in Tesla? The reason I'm talking about that is that I'm arguing Tesla is about to have its iPhone moment or its 
Netflix streaming moment. People have yet to really understand the full impact of this technology, the full impact of electric cars, and how it is going to change the way we live and the way that we do things. A lot of people still don't really even understand what Tesla is, what, what the cars are like, what they really even offer. And once they start to look into what they offer, these cars actually have all these futuristic things that no other car manufacturer is offering at this point in time. It's absolutely amazing. I do not work for Tesla. I'm not being paid by Tesla to make this video, but these are just my observations. So take this with a grain of salt. Reason number one is safety. Now, obviously, whenever you're going to buy a new vehicle, you want it to be safe. And Tesla is actually the safest vehicle ever. And I'm not just saying that, it's a fact. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, when tested the Model S, it had the best rating out of any car ever tested ever. And they have tested millions and millions of cars. Now that's just not the Model S. The Model S is, you know, the expensive Tesla. But this also goes for the Model 3. The Model 3 tested better than any other car previously in the history of testing. Number two is autonomy. Now, a ton of other companies like Audi, BMW, GM, Ford, all the other big car manufacturers have claimed that they are going to create a competitor to Tesla's autopilot technology. The issue is that Tesla has a very big head start, similar to the iPhone. By the time that BlackBerry said they're also going to create a touchscreen phone that can do all the things that an iPhone can make, they were already too late. And this is the issue currently with the car manufacturers that are competing for this spot. The way it stands now, you can simply put your credit card number into the center console of your Tesla and purchase full autopilot. Let's say you're in New York City and you wanna type in your address in Massachusetts, you type it into the center console and you click go, you take your hands off the wheels, you take your feet off the pedals, and you can just sit and relax. Of course, not sleeping. Every now and then you have to grab the steering wheel to show the Tesla that you are still there. But the point here is that this is far, far, far beyond any technology that is currently available on any of Tesla's competitors. The last thing I wanna talk about is upgrades. Traditionally, when you buy a car today, let's say you go and you buy a base model BMW and five weeks down the road, you buy the car and you decide, well, I really didn't want the base model. I wanted the performance model. I wanted the M3 BMW because it's a little bit faster and it's cooler and I just like it a little bit better. What do you have to do? You have to try and sell your current BMW. The dealership isn't gonna take it back for what you paid for it. So you're gonna to have to sell it at a discount, losing money there. And then you're going to have to go to another dealership and buy the upgraded model, let's say the M3. You're gonna get railed on that deal as well. So basically you're going to lose thousands of dollars in between those two deals. Now let's switch scenarios to a Tesla. Let's say you buy a base model Tesla and you decide you want autopilot. Let's just say you decide you want the ludicrous mode, which is the zero to 60 in crazy speed, whether that be 2.5 seconds with the Model S or that be 1.8 seconds with the new Roadster. All you have to do is go to the center console, put your credit card information in, click buy. The software is downloaded into the computer system of the car and now your car does zero to 60 in 2.5 seconds. Now your car will drive from Boston to New York City without you touching the steering wheel. That is the future. That is the future. And a lot of people don't understand the reason for the hype and the excitement over Tesla. And those are a couple reasons why. Lastly, I'll leave you with this. A lot of wealth managers and people will tell you that you should not be looking at Tesla and valuing Tesla like a tech company because it's just an auto manufacturer. Well, the fact of the matter is, is Tesla is no longer just an auto manufacturer. They sell software. This is a software subscription business. This is not only just an automotive business. And that opens the door to a lot more revenue, a lot more profit, and significantly more growth in the short term and the long term. Of course, invest safe, 
do not make an investment on something that you do not full heartedly believe in and something that you do not understand. So I could be completely wrong about Tesla. This video is simply stating the facts and giving you my opinion. I'll talk to you guys next week. Thank you guys for watching. Take care.